Let us see one example. So you get this the equation of input of whatever. The given statement pattern is P and Q or P and division Q. Without simplifying, we have to prepare the truth table because we can simplify by taking this P common from this two. Let us make truth table. For that, we need statements P and Q. P, Q. Then P and Q. Then negation Q. Then P and negation Q. And then the degeneration of these two that is P and Q or P and negation Q. You know the entries for these two statements P and Q in output input of table they are 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 0 in P and Q it is like conjunction is like multiplication 1 into 1 is 1 1 into 0 is 0 0 into 1 is 0 0 into 0 is 0 so you can remember that in the input output table of P and Q it is like multiplication of these two in negation Q it is 0 1, 0 and 1. P and negation Q. P is here, negation Q is here. Its and means multiplication. So 1 into 0 is 0. 1 into 1 is 1. 0 into 0 is 0. And 0 into 1 is 0. So let us take the D junction of these two points. D junction means we can consider it as addition. It is like addition. So 1 0, 1 plus 0 is 1, 0 plus 1 is 1, 0 plus 0 is 0, and 0 plus 0 is 0. So from the last column, we can see that this switching circuit or the lag will grow if switch P is closed and TV is closed or P is closed and TV is open means whenever this switch P is closed the current will pass we can see by drawing the switching circuit of this it will be like this S1 S2 or here is S1 and Second switch is S2 dash. So from this circuit also we can observe that situation. Current will pass from this positive element to negative. Whenever current will distribute in these two branches. If switch S1 is on means closed, current will pass through both the circuits. But if S2 is closed, then it will come out from this branch. If S2 is closed, then S2 dash will be open, so current will not pass through this branch. So whenever S1 is closed, current will pass through this. If S2 is open, obviously S2 dash will be closed, so current will pass through this branch. So whenever S1 is closed, current will pass through either this branch or this branch. So we get this conclusion one one as this P will be 1 and 1. So whenever switch S1 is closed, current will pass through the circuit. That we have to write the conclusion from this input output table. So from this we can write from last column We can conclude that that lamp will flow if switch S1 is on. 
if switch S1 is on, then lamp will blow. Okay. Let us see another one. P or relation to or relation of P and Q. Let us see input output table for this. Negation P, negation Q, P or negation Q and negation P and Q and the projection of this. That is P or negation Q or negation P and Q. Negation P means the opposite of this 0, 0, 1, 1. Negation Q means 0, 1, 0, 1. P or negation Q, P or negation Q. Or means addition. So 1 plus 0 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 1, not the 2. Addition of 1 and 1 is 2, but we will take here 1. So 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 plus 1 is 1. Then negation P and Q. Conjunction of these two. Conjunction means multiplication. 1 into 0 is 0. 0, 0, obviously 0. 1 into 1 is 1. And 0 into 1 is again 0. Let us take the disjunction of these two again. Disjunction means again addition. 1, 0, 1. 1, 0, 1. 0, 1, 1. And 1, 0, 1. In last column, we get all integers 1, 1, 1. 1, 1, 1, one, one means current will always flow through that circuit. It does not depend on the combination of switches. If switch S1 is closed or open, there will be no any effect. Let us see the switching circuit for this. P, that is S1. These two are in parallel combination. So only one switch is there S1. Second switch is S2 dash. <coughs> it is very easy to draw the figure. And here is series combination and this is with parallel with previous two. That S1 dash and S2. I am writing all arrows here because current will always flow. If suppose S1 is closed, then obviously current will flow through this. If S1 is open, then current will not flow th through this. But current will flow through this because S1 dash is closed. And if S2 is closed, then current will pass through this third circuit. If S2 is open, this, then this S2 will be open, so current will not pass through this. But S1 is closed, so current will pass through the, that first branch. If S2 is closed, current will pass through that. If S2 is open, S2 is open, so current will pass through either S1 or S1 dash. So in this case, the lamp will always glow for irrespective combination of switches. So from last column, we can conclude that lamp will glow always for 
any combination or any situation of any state of switches. Okay, this is about input output table. Let us see the fourth type. That is the simplification of statement pattern that we have learned in our previous part and we have to use that simplification here. So the fourth type is reduce the number of switches. Number of switches in circuit or that is give an alternative arrangement of switches. To reduce the number of switches, it is nothing, nothing but giving of alternative arrangement of switches. Let us see one example. S1, S1 dash and S2. For example, first switch is given S1. Again here S1 dash and here S2. Okay, this mass is supposed to be given. Can we simplify this circuit? Means can we reduce the switches given in this circuit? Only here we have only three switches. Can we reduce these switches or not? Let us. For that, what to do first? We have to represent the given circuit in symbolic form. For that, we have to take the statements as P, P denotes switch S1, Q denotes switch S2. Here S1 dash is given so that you can write not necessary address, still you can write negation P means switch S1 dash. And last that is lamp L, L for lamp F. Obviously all are on. So the given circuit can be expressed in symbolic form as lamp will glow or it is equivalent to S1 means P it is in series so conjunction in bracket because we have two switches here. S1 dash means negation P and it is in parallel that's why right, disjunction with Q. So this is the symbolic form of your circuit. Let us simplify this. It will be equivalent to here is conjunction, here is disjunction. So distribution uh, you distribute this conjunction over disjunction. So using distributive law, we get P and negation P, P and negation P or P and Q. This is one distributive law. In next step, P and negation P, it is always what contradiction. So this is by complement law. We get P and negation P that is contradiction C or false or P and Q. This is by complement law. Okay, so this is contradiction and it's rejection with P and Q. Let us consider this as single statement, then this is contradiction is false. If this statement e will be true, then it's conjecture rejection with false is true. If it is false, obviously it is false. So we get the truth value of this statement P and Q otherwise. And so we get it as P and Q and this is by identity law.
So we get two statements from A, P, and Q. It means we have two switches P for S1 and Q for S2. Two switches in series combination. So, so equivalent kernel switching circuit for this is as S1 and S2. These two switches are in series combination. So this is the alternative arrangement for this switching circuit. So this example will be asked for 3 marks. 2 marks will be there for this and 1 mark for circuit. Let us see one more example. S1, S2 dash, example number 2, switch S1 and S2 dash are in series. Next, S1 dash, S2. Here we are going to switch S1 dash and S2. Third one, S1 dash, S2 dash. Only two switches are there, but their different combinations are given. This switch uh, switching circuit is given. You have to simplify this. For that, once again, only two switches are there. The dash are there also. So. Initially, we have, write, uh, we have to write these statements or symbols for these switches. Then, using these symbols, we can represent this circuit as L is equivalent. Let us try to simplify this. Uh, write in symbolic form. S1 and S2 dash are in series. So, S1 means P, S2 dash means negation P. They are in series, so conjunction. So, P and negation. After that, this S1 dash means they are in parallel, so or negation P and Q. And last one is negation P and negation Q. Negation P and negation Q. So this is the symbolic form of given switching circuit. Let us simplify this now using property because we have to reduce the number of switches or we have to give alternate element for this switching circuit. For that we have to simplify this. If you observe these two, then there is no any one common here. But if you observe these two, then negation P is common in both these two. So in first step you have to observe carefully whether we get something common because in many steps or in any example, I think distributive property we have to apply here. So, negation P can be taken common here. So, we get here first part as it is on. Make here bracket. In this bracket, we can take negation P common. So, negation P and Q or negation Q. This is the distributive law in reverse order. So, you can do this one that you have to justify each step. For that, you have to write that law there. Again, if you have the this bracket now, P obligation Q obligation Q, this is this junction. So, by complement term, this is always tautology. So, we get P and negation Q or in bracket 
negation P conjunction total S. You can write capital T or small t. This is my complement term. Now this is equivalent. This conjunction total is there in conjunction will always find whether it is false, uh, false or not. This negation of P may be true or false. If it is true, we get true. If it is false, we get false. So this is by identity law, we get negation P. So P and negation 2 or negation P is done by identity law. Now here is construction, here is construction. So again, use a distributive law that is P or negation P and negation P or negation P. This is my again distributive law. Okay. If you observe this again, this will be tautology. So again, it is equivalent to tautology and negation Q or negation P. Negation Q or negation P. This is by again complement term. Now it is equal to conjunction is there, here is tautology. In conjunction, we will observe false whether the second is false or not, means to tell you depends on this. So, this we get negation Q and negation P. This is the again identity law. So, it is equal to negation P and negation Q. Just for convenience, we are changing the situations of P and Q, and this is my commutative law. So, these six switches are get reduced in only two switches that is, negation P denotes switch S1 dash, negation Q denotes switch S2 dash. So there are only two switches S1 dash and S2 dash in the equivalent switching circuit of this given switching circuit. So that given uh, equivalent switching circuit or simplified switching circuit contains two switches in series combination. That is switch S1 dash and switch S2 dash. So these are the only two switches remain in simplified switching circuit. Obviously, both this S1 dash and S2 dash should be closed so that current will pass. So, from this simplified circuit, we can conclude the result when current will pass through the given circuit. Whenever S1 dash and S2 dash both are closed, these are closed, then and only then the current will pass. So, S1 dash and S2 dash will be closed. This is the conclusion from this example. Okay. So, we have seen in last part that whenever circuit is given, we have to write it in symbolic form, then simplify it using the laws which we have already studied. We will get the simplified statement pattern, and from that simplified statement pattern, we have to write or you have to draw the simplified switching circuit. So, this is the important portion of this article application of logic to switching circuit. Okay, I think 